In today's tech tip video, we will look at how to add in a post processor and where to find posts and post resources for SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So the first thing that we're going to do when we add in the software, so if we go to our add in section inside of SOLIDWORKS, we have SOLIDWORKS CAM turned on, or it could be turning on CAMWORKS, um, and you would find the post processor is the same process. So I'm using SOLIDWORKS CAM, and I'm going to edit my machine. So I'm going to right click on the machine and choose edit definition, or we can choose define machine from the command manager. So when I choose define machine, you can see that the available machines are listed here. So in SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro, we have milling and turning machines. So I have a turning machine selected, but if I wanted to use a milling machine to cut this part, I could choose mill and then choose select. After I select the machine, we want to select the tool crib and the post processor. So I'm going to talk about the post processors today. And you can see in the post processor tab, we have the active post processor. So this is the post that's been selected for this particular machine. We also have the available post. So this is actually the post that we're going to select. If you look, there's a large list of machines that are already in here. So this is actually located on the C drive under program data, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS CAM 2021, posts, and then this is under the milling section. So if I browse to this folder, we can see that this is the location. So this is on the C drive, and this is a list of different machines that are already included with your software. So if I want to use one of these machines, I can go ahead and select that machine. So there's the Fidal CNC, choose select. And as soon as I choose that select button, that becomes my active post processor. So if I don't choose select, it's just the available post. It's not created as my active. So make sure that we press the select button in order to choose that. If we go back to machine and turn this into a turning machine, and I go into my post processor tab. If I go to browse, and instead of choosing the mill folder, you'll see that there's under the posts, there's also a turning folder. So in here, I can also choose a turning machine. So if I'm looking at the Fanuc, I can choose open, and now it lists the turning folder. So there's the turn folder, I choose select, and now that's my active post processor. If you are working with CamWorks, uh, there's a different location for the posts folder and that's also under the c drive so windows c drive and then you'll see that there's a folder called camworks data if we look at camworks data you're going to choose the camworks version that you're working with so i'm using 2021 and inside the 2021 version you'll see that there's a posts folder so this is the same selection process so there's mill and turn. So if I choose mill, we've got again, a list of post processors. So these are the same post files that were used for SOLIDWORKS CAM. If your machine's post is not in this location, there are a couple different places that we can find either a free post for you to try, or you can create your own post using the universal post generator. If I go to the CAMWORKS website, so camworks.com, you'll actually see under the support tab, a post processor library. So if I click on post processor library, you can see that there is a selection filter and we can choose what type of machine that we're looking to find a post for. So if I'm looking for milling, you can see a large list of different manufacturers. So if I look for Okuma, I can see all of the different machine series that are available. So if I search, it will actually give me that specific post. So within this page, you can also see some sample output code. I can view that sample code. And if that's what I'm looking for, then that's great. And I can use that post. If it's not, you will also get the source code for this post when you download this. So this can be edited and we can use the universal post generator to do this. In order to download the universal post generator, we're also going to go to the support tab to the customer area. You're gonna fill out your information to sign in. And then if I scroll down to the bottom under miscellaneous downloads, you can actually see there's the access to universal post generator. So if I click on miscellaneous downloads, here's the universal post generator that I was talking about. 
So there is a new version. So this one is from January 2021. I would download this post generator and then I can actually open up the post inside of this and make edits to it. So this is what the post generator looks like when it's opened. We would choose new source. We can also open the source file that we've downloaded for free, or we can use some of the source files that are in the software. If I'm looking for a Fanuc type code, I can find my Haas. I can view that code again. It's going to give me sample code to show me what that looks like, or I can choose OK. And this is actually going to open up the editor and allows me to make changes to this post. So I can go through the tabs and make different changes to the post. And then I can compile this source and create the post that I need to select inside of the software. If you are looking for more information about how to use the post generator, there are multiple videos available to use this as well as some reference guides under the help menu. The last option for your post processor would be to get a custom post created for your machine. Please contact support at cadmicro.com in order to do so.